In your view, what will be the biggest challenge about this, this change? For me, it'll be getting the book and learning the prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Because they are different, um, and when you're dealing with a more poetic language, you have to really practice it in order for it to come out correctly. Um, you just can't wing it. So for me, I think it's going to be actually getting the book, becoming familiar with it, um, the new missile, and then being able to begin to practice those prayers um, so that they become more um, natural, let's say. I'm not going to be able to do what I do now and, and say a lot of it from, from memory, but uh, especially the Eucharistic prayers, but um, certainly you know, I need to be able to make them sound correctly so people can hear them. And I think the challenge is more so for our priests than for the laity. I mean, yeah, there's a few phrases that change in our prayers, but from what I hear, there's, there's, a, there's quite a few more changes in, the, uh, in what the priest says. So. Well, I told the, the groups that I've worked with, I said, you have a card that's got like four <laughs> fold overs, you know, that's what you have to learn. I have a book this thick I have to learn. <laughs> so don't complain to me when I'm learning something new. <laughs> I think that's the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is change. We all fear change. But I also think that we have to remember that we are walking this change together. We have to walk with each other. And so, are we going to make mistakes? Yes, but we'll learn from our mistakes. I really believe that that's where the challenge lies, is that we have to accept the fact that we're going to make mistakes. Things aren't going to be that easy. And I'm going to sit, stand at the altar and Father is going to say something and I'm supposed to move and I'm going to forget that's where I was supposed to move. <laughs> we will have a deeper understanding of who we are as a people. We'll have a deeper understanding of the liturgy. And I truly believe we'll have a deeper understanding of our mission in this world. Right, Dean, is suggesting, um, I think one of the biggest challenges is uh, people are going to be very self-conscious about making a mistake. And they're going to be worried about, oh, I said it the wrong way, and um, did, it work, did it work out OK or not? And I think they'll be thinking more about what they need to say than just being present at mass with their whole mind and their whole heart. And so um, a little bit of um, I know, levity, or at least um, assurance, that we're going to make some mistakes. We're not going to say all the words the right way, if there is the you know, right way to say them. And that's going to be OK. In the time, you'll mm -hmm. pick up on it. It'll be just fine. But to not be too self-conscious. The greatest challenge is not falling to that temptation just to say, oh, let's just do it, you know, and, and not really enter into it and, and enter into that struggle that has been stated from, from both the standpoint of the priest or, or from the laity that, uh, that we enter into it and, and learn from the richness that is there and not just simply shrug it off like, here's just another change I got to deal with but rather see it as that real opportunity, as we've spoken this whole time, uh, to, to go deeper into the great mystery that we have given to us in the Mass.